If I asked you to name a serial killer, what would you say? Imagine Ted Bundy would be at the top of the list. And then we would have John Wayne Gacy, Jeffrey Dahmer, Richard Ramirez, even wrong answers like Charlie Manson. Across here, maybe more Fred West, Shipman, Peter Sutcliffe. But it turns out the ones with the highest proven number of victims are more worldly. And the serial killer who is eighth on that list is China's Zhang Xinhai, known as the Monster Killer. In 85, at the age of 17, and would not return home. Yang began a nomadic lifestyle and wandered from town to town working as a laborer or peace worker. 1988 was the year that Yang was start on his criminal spree, or the year he would get caught at least. He was apprehended and sent to a work camp for various different thefts in different towns and villages. In 1996, at the age of 28, Yang returned home, but the homecoming was not a happy one for anyone, and Yang was back behind bars, this time for attempted rape. He was sentenced to five years, and he was released in 1999. Something happened to Yang's mind when he was inside, though. Something changed the man incarcerated as a thief and as a rapist he will be released a different animal altogether the worst serial killer in the history of china as far as we know or as far as is being reported yang began his evil reign of murderous terror on the 19th of september 2000 in guazhang village henan where he murdered is phase two. At home with an axe. Yang made his own weapons, makeshift deadly axes, hammers, meat cleavers, and shovels. They were his favourite. His ammo was often the same. He would stalk and enter homes at night, much like Ramirez, but in my humble opinion, Yang was much more committed and competent. Sometimes Yang would slaughter entire families at a time. A lot of time, these were farmers. On the 22nd of October, 2002, Yang entered the Zhang family residence. He systematically killed first the father, then his six year old daughter, both with a rusty shovel. He then proceeded to rape the wife, who was also pregnant. Another sick similarity to the American Night Stalker, he would sometimes let the women he raped occasionally live. This time the wife survived, but had serious head injuries. Yang's worst night, though, was still yet to come. On the night of 6 of December 2002, Zhang entered in to the residence of Lu Zhang Wang, where he would kill an entire family of five. A grandmother, a mother, dad, and two children with a hammer. The gruesome crime was discovered by the grandfather Lu, and he entered the family home to find his wife, children, grandchildren, dead in a bloody mess. His wife hung on but eventually succumbed to her hammer injuries 10 days later. He found his granddaughter lying on the floor with a hole in her head. Yang would later confess to using the hammer in this case and then burying the hammer in a grave. He would then throw his blood soaked clothes into a nearby river and went on his way. This would be just one of many in his reign of murder. His reign of murder was epic. 
and China increasingly feared this would never stop. Yang slaughtered entire households on several occasions. In Anu, on October 1, 2000, three victims and one rape. On August 15, 2001, three victims, one rape. On January 6, 2002, five murder victims, one rape. June 30, 2002, four murder victims, one rape. July the 28th, 2002, four murder victims, two rapes. November the 8th, 2002, in his home village, four victims, two rapes, one injured. December the 15th, 2002, in Hanoi, three victims, one injured. On February the 5th, 2003, three victims, one injured, one rape. And on February the 18th, 2003, Four murder victims, two rapes. And on March 23rd in Henan, four victims, four murder victims, one rape. And last, his last night of killing was August 8th, 2003, in Shang's Hong, where he would murder five. This prolific and horrific run come to a guaranteed end on the 3rd of November 2003. This was believed to be China's longest and grisliest killing spree. Yang was apprehended at an entertainment center in Kangzhou, Abai. Once in custody, it was found that Yang was indeed wanted for four murders in four different provinces. Yang left behind a long trail of blood in his path, but also DNA. He would often travel to villages he killed in by bicycle. 49 murders and 17 rapes in a nan. Eight murders and three rapes in a bai. Six murders and two rapes in a nun. And two murders and one rape in Shidong. On being arrested and presented with what they had, Maybe also through sheer exhaustion, but maybe the fact he was done, Yang confessed pretty quickly. And on February 1st, 2004, Yang, at the age of 38, after refusing appeal, was found guilty and sentenced to the death penalty. The wheels of justice move swiftly in China and Yang was executed just two weeks later on Valentine's Day by a firing squad. So what drove Yang to do this? Was he born to kill? Or was he made by a society that had hurt and wronged him? Some say it was a girlfriend. Others say his macabre nature and sociopathic behavior started as a child. Newspapers reported that Yang simply loved to steal, murder and rape. He loved to rape, murder and steal. In his own words, he said this, when I kill, I feel desire to kill again. That drives me to kill. I don't care if my victims deserve to die or not. I don't give a damn. I have no desire to be part of society. Society is not my problem.